Hey guys, Andy here. Uh, sorry for the lighting. So I um, made a little mistake. I was using my DeWalt 3 amp hour battery pack to boost my car, and uh, which is fine. It's not. It's not a great thing, but I mean, if you're in a rush, you know, using these uh, power tool battery, the big ones. Don't use the small ones. They will still work. They'll be fine. Anyway, so I was using this guy to boost my uh, car. Even though it's 20 volts, it's fine. It drops it down to 12 volts and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. It, it works fine. It boosts. I've boosted my vehicle dozens and dozens of times using this method. But I wasn't paying attention, and I by accident hooked up the leads reverse. And I just wanted to show you this. So it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, right? So, if you ever by accident reverse the leads and you're not showing anything, you put it on the charger, it doesn't show anything at all, none of that, uh, there's a really simple way of fixing it. All you do is take off the uh, four screws on the bottom using a kit like this. It has a special, uh, special piece here. So, you do that, and um, here it is right here. So, that's that fuse blue. So all I'm going to do is fill that gap in with solder, and uh, it'll be fine again. And uh, yeah, should be should be fine, no big deal. Um, anyways, I'm going to test it. But anyways, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you when I'm done soldering. I won't show you me soldering it because I don't have a tripod. But anyways, it it doesn't matter. It's if you're doing this, you should know what you're doing, and you know just trust trust your own knowledge and take take your own risks. All right. All right. So that's the finished product. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend doing this. I put a lot of liquid tape down underneath of it, and uh, it might be worth it just to create a new piece of metal to go between these two points, um, or put a piece of metal down over top of it and solder the pieces of metal together. Uh, rather than what I did, so um, but that's that's your own discretion. I don't think liquid tape is a very smart way of doing it, but it's definitely a quick way. It does work now; it's perfectly fine. See, it works fine now. Anyways, um, yeah, it's like I said, it's it's kind of sketchy. I don't know if I would recommend doing it, but if you can do that with a soldering gun, if you know what you're doing, um, you can solder it on. Be really careful, because I um, almost got quite a bit of solder in my eye. Um, it just it flicks. It's really easy to flick out of here, and it falls down in the crack, so if you have some heat tape, heat resistant tape, put down a lot of it around this entire surface before you start soldering because little bits of solder can go down in there and short circuit the battery because it's so hot it'll melt through the plastic. So be extremely careful. Um, know what you're doing. Know what you can and can't do. Um, be really careful if, if you're going to decide to do this. Anyways, hope you liked uh, this quick little video. Have a good day. Bye.